to another edition of Clement's Homebrew, and today is Father's Day, and love you, Dad. Thank and you. we got one of our newest fathers in the family. Got a kiddo. Colin's got a kid. I love him, and I can get rid of him whenever I want. <laughs> yes. And we just gave him back to Mom minutes ago. True. <laughs> we did. So, uh... Wow. They so, stopped. what are we doing for a beer review on Father's Day? Well, I think our fans might be upset that we're doing another Firestone <laughs> beer. I'm happy. I love Firestone, stuff. I can't help it, but we did buy a lot at first. So, we have the Firestone, uh, is it Ukaba? Sukaba. Sukaba? I call it Sukaba. Yeah. It's got some weird little S's in there, you can see. On the double S character. But it is one of their, uh... Specialty one. And it comes in a box! <laughs> yeah! Which always means it's good. I mean, it's gotta be good, right? Yeah. But it's one of their special reserves, or limited releases, and it's, uh, it's a barley wine. Yeah. So, I mean... Aged multiple times. That's wow. why we don't have good Man stuff. Bear Pig here, because he doesn't like barley uh, wines. Uh, okay. So a lot of malts. This has got Munch Pale Ale, Chris Maris Otter Pale, Munich malts, dark and light crystal malts, they don't tell you what. It even has chocolate malts. Love chocolate. Love it. This is, they also have Bravo in this and do a late edition of uh, East Kent Golding, so good British. Anyway, there you go. Or UK or whatever. All I know is this was ranked really high. I'm excited to try it. Did you say what the percentage was? This is 13% ABV. Hooray! Which is, you know, we're sharing it, but we still should get a little happy off this. All right, there we go. Yeah, okay. That's looking good, dude. That's, that's dark, but oh, you can yeah. still see some red tones through it. Well, it's a bar oh. well my These are like, it's like, it's like looking at a dark ruby. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A really It's dark almost ruby. like a... Like a grape juice mix, or a cranberry grape yeah. mix. Cran yeah, but a re even darker than cranberry, yeah. It's got that sweet scent that Firestone Ooh, really, always really has. Really no head or anything. Not, no. Well, you but... got a tad, but... Well, you get a little bit, but... <sighs> wow, that's a really complex, interesting I worked smell. on my oh, pouring, my. so we didn't have... You can definitely head. smell the chocolate. And oh, a... I'm getting dark fruits. Definitely, yeah, some fruit. Almost a coffee. Yeah, I get, I get, uh, I get like a sweet raisin. Makes me think of. Um, you oh, can smell it. I know. I got, I got a scent of date in there. Bread. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. I had this raisin bread pudding recently. Yeah. And so it's got that, that sweet like bread pudding. Yeah, it's got a breadiness, a spicy smell to it. That's good. Now, now this was aged for 11 months in different That's barrels. Oh, so yeah, they bourbon. switched barrels. So Multiple it went times. from, they were saying, I was reading on it, it went from uh, from American Spirits, wine and then they barrels. had others that were, uh, were wine, and then others that were retired from the Firestone Union. So, yeah, I mean, it's well, got there, a complexity in it. Well, there is. It's got a, wow. Oh, coconut. Oh. oh. I'm getting coconut. Yeah, that smells like, like a meaty, toasted. nice coconut or coconut yeah. milk. Well, that's kind of where I was getting that date scent also. Yeah. yeah. Coconut. I it's, think it's, it's the coconut it's got, mixing with the bourbon. It's got like a caramelized yeah. sweetness oh, nice. to it. Nice. God, yeah. it's a lot of smells in this thing. Wow. I'm excited for that. I'm trying to get a whiff of what kind of alcohol it would have been in. It's a little boozy, but not. It doesn't strike me as super no, boozy. And I know they're talking about being big boozy. It doesn't strike me that way. But but you can get a little you bit of oakiness, like, a little there's almost a tinge like a like a American oak more. Yeah, so. a little uh, bit. Yeah. Wow, that that is a complex oh, aroma. Good. I must say wow. it semi smells like some of their others, but it has its original it sense also. Unique. It's unique. Yeah. Alright, right. I say it's drinking let's, time. Let's get a tongue on yeah. this. Mm. Oh, I'm smiling. Wow. Oh my. That's deep. Yeah, 
It's got a little bit of bite to it too, though. Mm -hmm. I, I get a little bit of the booze. Wow. I still yeah. got at the, at the front of Ooh. the poor. Oh, on the oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you feel it now? Yeah. What is that? Mm -hmm. Is that some whiskey in there? You can you can feel it in the throat. Or, it's bourbon. So that's yeah. a light bourbon or scotch. A light bourbon. Bourbon. Oh, yeah, a light bourbon. Uh, a light bourbon burn. But at the very front was the sweetness, oh, and I got sweet. more of that coconut taste. I'm getting some of that wine flavor in there too, though. I'm 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 tasting some of the wine from the, the wine barrel. God, this is complex. This is wow. wow, awesome. But you definitely you can taste some coffee in there for sure. I've heard chocolate, but to me that's a back seat. I don't get much chocolate off. No, it. it it smells like a chocolate, but you don't taste get, the chocolate. I get kind of an oaky taste. A little bit. Got a little bit of the tobacco in there. Yeah, maybe that's what that is instead of the coffee. It's, I don't know, that's, that's a deep flavor. Maybe, mm. uh, maybe like a, I've heard people say cherries on this, but you know what? If I was going to say cherry, it would be, uh, you know when you get like cherry and dark chocolate mm. with bourbon in it? Yeah. That really deep, like it, it, at Christmas, when you get a chocolate covered cherry with bourbon. Yeah, yeah, one of those yeah, uh, the alcohol one soap bit of covered in chocolate. Yeah, that I, I can see that definitely. Well, with lots of bourbon. That's so good. we need to first try to rate this as a barley wine. Out of everything I've had, this this beer in general to me is what makes the mixture of beers for other Firestone beers so fantastic because it's it's it has great flavoring. But the problem is, is it's strong, it's intense, it's got lots of deep uh, you know, <laughs> liquors in the back, and it's no, got no, that, no. that sweet so. taste in the front, and it's, I'm almost confused, mm. so for barley wines, I would give it like a 92. I think it's still great, and it's one of the top mixtures I've had, but I, I don't think it's an outlandishly like, awesome beer. I'll, I'll agree, I was going to say about a 90, 89 kind of rank. All right, so uh, I'm I'm so far apart from you guys for mm. barley wines, and and I'm not gonna say they're my favorite style, but 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 there's something that I do very much enjoy, and um, a lot of barley wines are just really sweet. They don't have this kind of complexity, so I can't put it in the 80s. There's just no way. And in fact, when you add in like like tobacco, coconut, you know, maybe a little bit of soft vanilla yeah. off the, the barrels, and you got the bourbon in there and everything else. For barley wine, this is a 97 for me. This is, uh, I can't say that I've necessarily had a better barley wine. I think I could, there, I think there's room for better, but this is a spectacular, I think it's real class. Mm -hmm. For me, it's 97. I, we're on overall, and I am sorry to everyone who's ranked this beer out there, but overall, <laughs> I, I, I'm I not going to drink this this again. Like, I'm not going to pay the price for this beer mm -hmm. yeah. to drink this again. And I know there's tons of fans out there because this isn't a beer that anyone's going to drink <laughs> all the time. Very true, definitely. And I'm, I'm not being harsh, but I'm just saying it is a fact. So overall, because of drinking, complexity, and it's, overall I rank it an 82, because I'm not going to drink this again. It's a fantastic beer, but I just, it's, when, when can you just sit down and have this all the time and spend like $16 on beer? Not, not me, yeah. for 22. I've found other beers I'd pay a lot more money than 16 and drink all the time. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I, I'm gonna have to say I'm I'm a, a real fan of porters and stouts, dark, complex mm -hmm. flavors. Um, you know, worked at Starbucks for some time, um, so I, I kind of get used to those complex, you know, roasts and stuff. So, I I, I enjoy it, but um, it would you know, it, as a beer overall, it it has a, a lot of complex flavors, that deep kind of bourbony. You know, hard alcohol flavor. So it's it's not my favorite, but I'd still rate it as pretty good. I I might say it's an eighty seven or eighty eight for me. So so I don't when I do my overall because we don't go by style anymore. 
Um, so we're off the charts. We're not comparing yeah, we're to your rate beer. This your is kids personal or else. opinion. Personal, personal, personal opinion. taste. Um, I, I don't just go on, but I keep buying it because it's an expensive. You know, if I want had a lottery and I had a lot of cash, I, I'd have a few bottles down my cellar. Well, no we'll question. start working on that. I, I like that. Let's <laughs> see. That's the difference. They didn't buy me I a lottery it. ticket. But the thing is, is that hmm. I still got to go. That. If the money wasn't an issue, how would I rate the beer? And that's kind of how I go. And so, um, for my overall uh, on on just beers and, and the quality, this is a really high quality beer. Uh, I'm still going to go 94. This is a really high quality beer. Um, no, I would not drink this all the time. No. <laughs> this is this is what makes uh, tasting beer so fun. Yeah. It's unique. Mm -hmm. We all have different tastes. We appreciate your watching. If you watch, please subscribe. Tell us what you think about this beer because yeah. I know a lot of you are going to be going, Boo! We love this beer. Sorry. And if you agree with us, let us know that. But, um, yeah. happy Father's Day. Yeah, happy happy Father's, Father's Day, Day everyone. <laughs> Thank you for joining right. us. We'll see you all next time.